Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's take a look at rule number nine, which says that if two rows in a matrix are identical, the determinant of that matrix will equal zero. To show that that rule works, we'll use two different matrices. We have A being a two by two matrix and B a three by three matrix. Let's see if that works. Now, what we're going to do first is, well, let's go ahead and you can see here that we have two rows that are identical. Let's take the determinant of that matrix A and see if that determinant is indeed equal to zero. So here's the determinant of matrix A, which can be written as 3, 5, 3, 5, like this. And of course, the determinant can be found by multiplying these two diagonals and subtracting the product of those two. So this becomes 3 times 5 minus 5 times 3, which of course is equal to 15 minus 15, which is 0. And check. You can see then that for a 2 by 2 matrix, when those two rows are the same, when you take the determinant of that, you get 0. What well, does it work also for a 3 by 3? Let's take a look. Here we have matrix B. You can see that it has two rows that are identical to one another. Let's find the determinant of that, that matrix. Here's the determinant of matrix B, which is equal to 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, 6 for the three rows, two of them, of course, being identical. This is equal to the first element right here, 1, times, now, of course, when we get rid of that column in this row, we just have these four elements left. And then we multiply this just like a 2 by 2. It's, you get the product of those two minus the product of those two. That means 2 times 6, 2 times 6, minus 3 times 5. And we need the closing parentheses. I keep forgetting to do that, don't I? Now we take the second element, but this is now going to be negative. Negative 2 times, and if you get rid of the middle column and the top row like this, you have these four elements left. So it's 1 times 6 minus 3 times 4. 3 times one. 4 times 6. And now we have the final element up there, 3, so plus 3, so it's plus minus plus, it alternates, and then you get rid of this row and this column, you have these four elements left, so it's 1 times 5 minus 2 times 4. Minus 2, 1 times, times 5. Four. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and work this out to see if that also equals 0. This is equal to 1 times 12 minus 15 minus 2 times 6 minus 12 and plus 3 times 5 minus 8. This is equal to, that's 12 minus 5 is minus 3 times 1, that's minus 3. 6 minus 12 is minus 6 times a minus 2 is plus 12. And 5 minus 8, that's minus 3 times 3 is minus 9. And you can see that this indeed does equal 0. And so in the case of a 3 by 3 matrix as well, you can see the rule holds that if two of the rows are identical, the determinant of that matrix will indeed equal 0. And that's how it's done.